Okay, this video is going to show you how to set up two monitors on one computer. Now in front of you right here, I have a graphics card. I actually got it off of eBay for about 30 bucks. And it's just a basic, basic uh, PCI Express card, graphics card. And it has two DisplayPort ports on it. So I'm going to use that in order to hook up two monitors to my computer. Now this is an older system and I'm just going to open it up here. This is an older system that I have that I want to set up for a dual monitor display. So let's open this up here. Alright. Alright, now this is an eBay purchase, so it's just going to be packed as they packed it. But here is the graphics card, I'll put that to the side, and then I got two... And it also comes with two 10-foot cords. One side of the cord is DVI, and the other side is DisplayPort. So I think I got a good deal on this stuff here. Put this to the side. Right here is the graphics card. And let's open it up here and show it to you. It actually comes with a small profile bracket and a large profile bracket, which is actually attached, which is the one I'm going to use. So this is the card here. It is second hand, so it is a little bent here, but that's not a problem. I'll get that squared away. There's no fan on this, just a large heat sink. And this card is an NVIDIA Quadro NVS295 graphics card. And like I said, it has the two DisplayPort ports on there. So let's install this on the computer. All right, this is an older gateway tower that I have. It's a dual core. I think it's uh, clocked at 1.8 gigahertz per core. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the side here. And this card that I have is a PCI Express card. And I have a slot down here that I'm going to fit it in. It's going to be this bottom slot here. So what I have to do is I have to remove this plate here. And on the back of this, let me turn this around here. My case here is a toolless design, so I just have to remove this and then I can pop the bottom bracket right out of it. And that opens up a slot down here that you can see. Now, let me spin this around again. Now I'm going to want to stick the card in through that slot and fit this here the connectors here and match them up on the motherboard. So I'm just going to slide this down. Hopefully you can see this all right. Match everything up. And then just slide it right in real easy. And then close this back up back here and it's locked into place. Next thing I'm going to do is just close it right back up. screws on the back to tighten it down. There we go. Now the next step on this is attaching it to the two monitors. Alright, these are the two Dell monitors that I'm going to attach to the computer. They're both flat panel LCD monitors. They're older. They're 19 inch. They're not widescreen. They're, they're the 4-3 uh, aspect ratio. I'm going to attach both of these to the graphics card I just put into the gateway tower with 10 foot cords that I actually got with the the graphics card off of eBay 
they're DVI to DisplayPort cords. So I attach the DVI part to the monitors and the DisplayPort, of course, is on the graphics card itself. So I'm going to plug them in and fire it up and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to turn it on for the first time, and right now I don't have any drivers or anything loaded up on it, but let's see if it does it on its own. Looks like monitor number one is working. No problems. Resolution isn't set yet. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is I want to download the NVIDIA drivers for this graphics card. So I'm just going to go to Chrome. This is the NVIDIA Quadro NVS295, so I looked that up on Google. And I am going to go to the NVIDIA site for that. I'm going to click on that. Alright, that's the card right there. Although mine's a PCI Express. And what I'm going to do is go here to Drivers and Downloads, and I'm going to download the latest driver here. It's the Quadro NVS. It's the NVS 295. And let's do it. So I'm going to download the driver here. Going through a couple of things that I have to click through. Save it. And then I'll execute the exe file on this. Alright, it's downloaded and I'm going to click on this and run it. Now I'm just going to click through this. It's just telling me where it wants to put the driver in a folder. I'll just agree to the default on that and it's loading the driver here and hopefully in a couple of minutes I'll have both monitors working. Alright, I was checking the system compatibility. Now it has a software license agreement. Of course I'm going to agree and continue. I'll go with the Express install here. Go with Next. Now it's installing the graphics driver. Alright, the install has finished and it installed NVIEW, Graphics Driver, and 3D Vision Driver. So I have to restart the computer now, and we're going to do that, and hopefully I'll be able to have these two monitors going in no time. Alright, there we go. Drivers must be working fine because the resolution is perfect the way it is. Now let's go in and see if we can get the other monitor working on here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the control panel. And I'm going to go up here under Appearance and Personalization. I'm running Windows Vista, by the way. You probably can tell by the look of it. But uh, this machine runs Windows Vista. I'm going into Appearance and Personalization. And I'm going to go to Adjust Screen Resolution. Now, I already have this monitor on over here, and I'm just going to see if I can get it running on this here. All right, I'm going to click on monitor number two, and then over here there is a checkbox that says extend the desktop onto this monitor. So I'm going to click on that and hit apply. There we go. Two monitors going on there. So I'm going to keep the display settings. And this one over here is blank, and as you can see, I can move the mouse between the two monitors here. This is the first time I've ever set up a dual monitor situation. And I could do it on my PC build. I could actually put three monitors on there. Pretty much if you have a graphics card that has more than one output on it, you can use that many monitors on it. My graphics card on my PC build happens to have a DisplayPort, a um, HDMI, and a DVI out. This graphics card, as I showed you, has two display ports on it. So that allows me to have the two monitor display here. This one is totally empty over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get out of this. I have the highest resolution setting on both of these monitors here. Okay, just to try the two monitors set up out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a web page on the first monitor and then I'm going to drag it over to the second monitor. So let's try that out. 
Let's go to my YouTube page. And let's click on videos. And these are my videos here. Now I'm going to move this between the two monitors here and move it over to this one here. The monitor on the right seems a little bit brighter. I don't know if it's because they're the same model monitor. Maybe it's just because uh, one was bought at a different time or maybe it has something to do with the actual settings on here. I don't know. That's really cool. So I have just doubled my workspace here on this computer and this will come in handy because I can do stock trading on this or I can do if I have a lot of things to roll out. It's not a very powerful computer so I can't do much video editing on it or anything but it does allow me a lot more screen real estate and I think I'll try this out for now. So that's how you set up a dual monitor setup for PC. Like I said, as long as your graphics card has two or more outputs on it, you should be able to set up a dual monitor or a triple monitor or more settings. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you next time.